I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Continental Airlines reported a first quarter loss of 98 cents per share on Thursday morning, missing consensus estimates for a loss of 86 cents per share. Revenues in the quarter rose 7% to $3.2 billion in line with estimates. Passenger revenue for the first quarter rose 7.1% or $186 million versus the same period a year ago due to tra increased traffic and higher average fares. Consolidated revenue passenger miles or RPMs for the first quarter of 2010 increased 5.7 percent, while capacity available seat miles or ASMs remained flat year over year, producing a record first quarter load factor of 79.5 percent. Mainline load factor of 80.1 percent was also a first quarter record of 4.3 points year over year. Jeff Smysett, Continental's chairman, president, and chief executive officer, said, quote, my coworkers did an excellent job under difficult circumstances this quarter, and I appreciate their efforts. I'm disappointed with our first quarter results which were impacted by the weak economy and the challenges we experienced with weather-related closures of our Newark Liberty Hub. However, the year-over-year -year increase in our revenue reflects the slowly improving global economy and benefits from our membership in Star Alliance. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on Continental Earnings, visit our website, tradethetrend.com. You can also get all the other earnings news you need throughout the day by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend.